Aries, Alyssa Gord is in Danville. And Alyssa, what's it looking like where you are? Well, Terry, right now you can see the water has receded significantly, but this is actually one of the streets where first responders had to go in earlier today and rescue people in kayaks. And while the water has receded, there's still a lot of mud that's sticking around. And you can see there are two cars that are stranded up in the mud up the street. Check out this video from this same street earlier today. First responders had to rescue some families by boat. At times, there have been up to three feet of water in this neighborhood, making roads impassable by cars. Also, check out this tweet from San Ramon police. We're not too far from San Ramon here, where police said they also had to use an armored vehicle to rescue people trapped by floodwaters. Also, check out this video of a stranded suburban in floodwater from earlier today. We're pretty sure that it's the same car that's stranded in the mud in front of us right now. We also spoke with some neighbors a few blocks away who said they were having similar experiences. It was pouring down through Brookside, like a, a river coming through and just funneling up and going down our court. I mean, cars are flooded down the court. All right, and out here live in Danville, we are joined by Tanner Newton. He's nine years old. He lives in the neighborhood. Tanner, tell me, how high did the water get up over here? It was like all the way up to uh, our garage. It was super high. Never. I would think that this would happen. Like, it was a lot. Like, it was all the way up there to my front door. Um, and Tanner, how did, how did that make you feel seeing all that water? I was scared. It was crazy. Like, I felt like something bad was about to happen, but we got lucky because there was people coming out on um, rafts and they were just, like, floating this year so we are super glad that that didn't happen to us well tanner i'm so glad that you and your family are warm and safe we'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now live in danville Alyssa gord nbc bay area news Alyssa, thank you very